Hello friends, welcome back to our channel Mirror Neuron which means watch and learn. Okay, I apologize that I took few weeks off uh, to prepare some new contents on chatbots as well as on how to use Python programming for asset management, uh, especially in the area of investment management, portfolio constructions and uh, stock analysis and <laughs> you know what not. Um, I'm so excited that I'll be bringing to you all these contents uh, in the upcoming videos. And through this process, I actually learned a lot, you know, talked to many uh, experts in this and I was able to come up with a lot of content which will be very useful uh, in your preparation on preparation on machine learning in this area of finance and uh, natural language processing. All right, so today and in the next couple of videos, uh, we are going to learn about chatbots and how to build few different types of chatbots. And just yesterday, um, I was reading an article in Forbes magazine that uh, uh, on the conversational interfaces and chatbots, uh, which are reshaping the contingent uh, labor management. In short, uh, meaning how it is going to impact you and me at workplace, right? So from Amazon Echo to Siri, all these interfaces uses machine learning and uh, natural language processing techniques to enable users to communicate with software via text or voice, uh, you know, as if it was human. That means many of the tasks that we do nowadays by clicking or, you know, manually doing something, we can just say it or just write a text or something and it will take care of us. Of course, there are, you know, existing challenges like uh, language dialect or free form text or misspellings, uh, which causes issues in the chatbot performance. But I have total trust on human beings that we are going to improve these systems every minute, right? All right, so let's... Um, also, I wanted to discuss a couple of other things that, you know, we don't have to learn to build all these chatbots from the very scratch. The reason being is that the world is moving very fast, right? There are a lot of research and development team around the world who are coming up with techniques every now and then, and it is very hard to keep pace with them, right? Uh, when we are doing self-study. So I would encourage that, you know, first try to build something which has been already built by somebody else so that it gives you a, some understanding how things work. And definitely as you keep learning new techniques and, you know, tools and technologies, you will be able to improve upon the existing methods or even might come up with a totally new technique of your own, right? But in the initial days, just try to follow projects which are already out there and start working on them. And I will show you a couple of uh, different types of uh, chatbots in the upcoming videos and probably you can just practice along and this will give you some idea how these things work. So in, in very simplicity, chatbots are nothing but a bunch of machine learning code, right? And nowadays you might have heard that, you know, most of the customer service tasks are taken care of by chatbots from commercial transactions to hotel bookings and even talking like a friend and whatnot, right? So with this, I would like to encourage you to please subscribe to our channel so that you can stay tuned to the, you know, the future videos for building these projects around chatbots and also how to use Python programming for finance industry and so on. So in short, Chatbots are of two types, although it would be very uh, uh, critical to say that there are only of two types because there are different techniques and methods people use. And But on a high level, just imagine they are of two types. One is the rule-based, you can see on the top right. Uh, these chatbots can be very simple to complex and it can respond based on some training rules but gets very upset uh, in complex things, right? And I think that is why we do machine learning on the first place. We don't want to follow some rule-based techniques, right? We want to generalize. And that's where the other type of chatbots are in place, which are called self-learning. They can handle complex queries and are much better than the rule-based. And also self-learning can be of two types. Self-learning chatbots can be of two types. One is the retrieval-based and another is the generative-based. Again, retrieval based are more like, you know, it will give you some response based on some predefined set of response, but then it will decide how to pull those information. And also it might include your currently available information from the conversation, like your username or the problem that you're trying to solve or get answer for. So all these things will be retrieval based. 
and then there are generative more like human conversation right it will not necessarily pick uh, just pick the predefined response but it will also might create or add new responses based on the query that it have received all right so in this project uh, we are going to build simple chatbots and it could be rule based or it could be generative uh, chatbots and for the time being i haven't uh, of course listed all the library that we are going to use but on the top of my head i could come up with that we can use scikit learn now, one of the popular machine learning library we are going to use the natural language toolkit which is the nltk library uh, we are going to use beautiful soup uh, maybe in one of our project we might want to scrape some data out of a website or something and we are going to use a api.ai library uh, of course it's okay well, let's call it library api.ai and few other libraries and i will introduce them when we use them in our code Okay, so using this, we are going to build a, uh, a functional chatbot so that you can understand what it all takes to uh, create a chatbot. Now, those chatbots can be deployed on your mobile devices, on your TV, um, on your uh, you know email system, and that of course is a very um, you know detailed project. I will try to cover them, but then for the timing, at least we'll build a chatbot so that you can see how it functions. All right, so few topics that we'll be discussing while the, uh, building these chatbots are something like text processing, which includes tokenization, lemmatization, remove the noise from the, like remove some stop words or mistakes, spellings, etc. Stemming, then we are going to use concepts such as word to vector and so on. And the techniques that we're going to use will be the term frequency and the inverse uh, term frequency, the cosine similarity, and we'll be trying to use a, another library called Chatterbot and so on. It's very interesting and we'll see how we can, you know, put them in a bunch of videos so that you can quickly learn about chatbots. All right. Thanks again for listening to me and stay tuned to my channel, youtube.com slash C slash Muraneuron so that you also get other updates and other tutorials. Thanks and have a nice day.